What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, bringing you another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. All right, so, um, so today we got some pretty interesting Pokemon stuff. So it seems like the closer we get to Pokemon Day, the more things begin to trickle out. Uh, some of these things are Pokemon Day related. Some of them are not. Uh, but, you know, Pokemon news update. <laughs> Uh, so, of course, speaking of news updates, I did have a news video, a news roundup video, which is a new series I'm doing. Still trying to find a name for that series. I did an episode of that uh, a couple days ago, and I don't know what's going on with the YouTube algorithm, but they kicked that jump in the dick. So, if you didn't get it, I'm just letting you know that it exists. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of Nintendo stories in there, some, uh, some other stories. There's an Overwatch story in there. So if you want to check it out, you can. I also did another Pokemon video that I don't think the Nintendo put in people's boxes. But yeah, you know, so of course if you want to continue getting videos like this from me, hopefully YouTube will send them to you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that stuff that YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos from me. Follow me on Twitter because guess what? Even if YouTube does not send you the video, I tweet out every video that I make. So... If you follow me on Twitter, you will always be notified when I send out a video. I promise not to be too spammy. I'm not on Twitter that much. Uh, subscribe, because 80% of you guys are not subscribed. Uh, today, we have some pretty interesting stuff to talk about. All right. So, the first story we got here today is going to be... Um, so, it looks like there is some missing content from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So, you know, this happens a lot in video games where there is usually the case... It's like something that they were going to do, but they changed their mind and they did something else. But they were so far in development that they couldn't really take it out. So they just hit it. You know what I'm saying? Or this was something that they were trying to do and they ran out of time because of deadlines. And as we know, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's deadline was a bit early. So they more than likely ran out of time and just, you know, they just hit it in the game. They didn't really have time to take it out. Uh, that could be, you know, what happened here. Um, now, of course, unlike Pokemon Legends Arceus that also had this type of, like, hidden slash missing content, you know what I'm saying, that people found when they started modding the game after the fact, you know, that game had that content. And I made a video about it. Uh, but since that game was not going to get any DLC because they didn't expect it to do very well, nothing ever came of it. But with this stuff, though, it's very possible that this stuff could be something that we see in the DLC. So, they, you know, again, this could have been something that they were trying to do and, you know, they just ran out of time. And thus they said, we'll just make it DLC, just hide it and then we'll just put it back in the game later. Uh, now, of course, the first the first one we get here is like this one room that looks like this looks like somebody's house, like. There's like a, 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 a sofa, there's like a chair, table, TV, there's like a fireplace, there's like a little rack on the wall that you hang stuff, there's like a bunch of like shovels and pickaxes, so I mean this looks like somebody's house, you know what I'm saying, this could be like a, a it looks like a relatively important character, I mean because I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this house, you know. Uh, I would say if this person was a Pokemon trainer, they could be a ground type or a rock type. I'm not even really sure. Uh, but again, this could have been something that they were making for somebody and decided to change their mind. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, they said when they tried to load this up in their, like, you know, like, cracked version of the game, it loaded up to Brassus' gym. So maybe this could have been something connected to Brassus and they just decided to go a different dire direction with it. Now, the second one is the most interesting one, though. So, the second one looks kind of like a terminal or something. Like, some people are saying that it looks kind of like the Pokemon League. Uh, other people are saying that it looks kind of like... Uh, it could be like a Battle Tower, Battle Frontier type of thing, which, I mean, again, you know, DLC, I could definitely see them doing Battle Tower. I'm not going to sit here and try to promise you that because people have been asking for the Battle Tower and stuff to come back for years and it rarely it really it never does but it's possible though um but to me this looks like uh the train terminal from um sword and shield you know and remember in sword and shield the train terminal is how you got to the dlcs in the first place so this could be 
that place. So the first, you know, DLC could unlock this place and you go here and, you know, you could take the train to wherever the DLC location is. Uh, and remember, you know what I'm saying, in Kalos, there is an unused train section in there. A train station that's not really used for anything in the game. It's in the game, but it never really comes up. You know, like a lot of other stuff in Kalos, like the freaking, you know, the freaking power station and some other stuff that's in the game that never really comes up again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so maybe this could be connected to that. You know, for all you Kalos bros out there, they're like, oh my god, it's Kalos DLC. This could be that. Maybe this train section uh, station takes you to Kalos or South Kalos or what have you. Uh, but again, take that with a pretty big grain of salt. That's just what it looks like to me. Uh, I would like it for it to be the Battle Tower, though. I would definitely like something like that. All right, so the next one, uh, you know, this one right here is more related to Pokemon Day. So Central Pokemon Leaks pops up with, uh, you know, some more. He's been, they've been actually kind of talkative lately as far as, you know, you know talking about the rumors and stuff. Uh, so they pop up with new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon announcement possibly coming. The copyright text for Spike Chunsoft uh, has been found in, in files for the new Pokemon Together website, which could hint at an announcement during Pokemon Day. So, uh, if you don't know what Pokemon Together is, it's like this new website thing that they, they popped up. It's probably connected to Pokemon Day in some way. They had a cool little nostalgic trailer. And, you know, whenever, whenever, whenever Pokemon's trying to announce something, they gotta bust out the nostalgia. You know, the little kids playing all the different Pokemon games and the nice little mixed race family watching the Pokemon anime. They had all that kind of stuff in there. And uh, so they made a website for it. And somebody looked, of course, looked into the code of the website. And they saw that there's copyright text for copyright text Spike Chunsoft. And so we all know the last game that Spike Chunsoft did for Game Freak was Mystery Dungeon. So everybody is saying that this could be a new Mystery Dungeon game, or this could be a uh, uh, like a Mystery Dungeon remake. You know what I'm saying? Um, so either way, I think it will be pretty good. I thought the Mystery Dungeon games were pretty interesting. Um, and like, you know, again, Riddler Q, you know what I'm saying, said that some of the 2023 projects were cool. So this could be it, you know, a really cool side game since allegedly we're probably never going to get that uh, Detective Pikachu 2. This this would be pretty good instead, though. I don't mind this. All right. So next thing, things that I don't mind. Uh, we have uh, Kirby D. Dumb <laughs> on Twitter with a relatively massive announcement, if possible. So he said, I just heard that at the Pokemon pre presentation, they will be announcing the following games will come to Game Boy and GBA on Nintendo Switch Online. So we all know that they just announced that, you know, Game Boy and GBA are official on, on, on NSO now, uh, uh, right after the, right during the Nintendo Direct. So all that stuff is there. If you have NSO and you have the expansion pack, you can take advantage of that. So, of course, I can see them announcing at the, the Pokemon Day presentation that, you know, Pokemon Gold and Silver, Pinball, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Trading Card Game would be coming to Nintendo uh, Switch Online, as well as Pokemon Card GB2, Here Comes Team Rocket, which I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one at all. Maybe that one adds, like, the Team Rocket cards, because, you know. Uh, Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green for the GBA side. Pokemon Pinball, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, uh, Mystery Dungeon, Red Team Rescue, Pokemon Emerald, and of course, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire proper. This will be pretty huge um, if they announce this, because I think people have been asking for this for a long time. Personally, I would rather just have the DS titles. <laughs> like, give me Pokemon Platinum, all right? Give me, look, when y'all put DS and 3DS on the Switch, that's that's where I did, that's probably when I'll be like all over the daggone uh, uh, Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack because I want to be able to play like freaking Fire Emblem Awakening and, and like Pokemon Platinum, you know, uh, uh, Pokemon uh, Black and White Two. I want to be able to play all those natively on my Switch. If I can do that, like I'll be in. Like that's what's up. 
But this isn't bad either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Pokemon Emerald and Crystal, like, that's pretty massive. Um, like, I, I mean, I might give Crystal a spin myself. You know, maybe I'll put that on the channel. Maybe I'll put it on the, you know, maybe I'll stream it. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, but definitely Pokemon Trading Card Game. Pokemon Trading Card Game, that game was punishingly hard back in the day, man. Uh, but again, you know, this is a rumor. You know, I've never heard of Kirby D. Dome before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's got some other stuff on his Twitter uh, that's rumors and whatnot, but I've never heard of this guy. So I can't really tell you if he's a proper source or not. So, you know, when dealing with stuff like this, you need today's sponsor. Salt, protecting people from unflavored food, wounds, and unsubstantiated internet rumors from 4chan for thousands of years. Take a little bit of salt to keep you from being salted. All right, so we get to the main event, talking about the big stuff. So uh, over the last couple of days, or at least over yesterday, uh, Riddler Q and his fashionable hat has been, uh, you know, talking about some, uh, well, has been dropping some hints. Uh, this time he started off drawing like uh, a hexagram. And so, of course, you know what I'm saying, those hexagrams are connected. Everybody was like, oh, well, this is connected to Zygrade, because Zygrade, you know, has has the hexagrams on his body. That's the symbol. Uh, then he, you know, he, he expands it out, and he adds some lines to it. And then eventually it becomes a turtle shell. So, you know, well, basically, this is everybody thinking this is a, a hint to the third legendary. And a lot of people have been saying the third legendary is probably a turtle of some sort. Like, you know, because, you know, you see, like, the the dome thing, like, in, in the in the leaks and the hints and stuff. So, of course, I mean, you could just imagine that the dome thing is a turtle shell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and since there, there is some Chinese mythology stuff in, in uh, you know, Scarlet and Violet, this could very well be the world turtle. You know what I'm saying? Which is something in Chinese mythology. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, you could also combine these two things together, seeing as though there is hexagrams in here. Maybe it's the world turtle and it's Zygrade. Maybe the world turtle Pokemon is going to be a new form of Zygrade. I mean, if you really look at it, I mean, Zygrade and basically everything with Generation 6 is a part of Norse mythology, you know, Yzgadril, the world tree, all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You take the world tree, you know what I'm saying, and you put that on the world turtle, wham, bam, that could be the third legendary right there. You know, and of course, you make this thing a Zygrade form, like a different Zygrade form. You know what I'm saying? Because technically, Zygrade was, you know, representative of the snake at the bottom of the world tree that's killing the world tree. All of this could be connected, or all this could be nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the fun of Riddler Q's riddles and my interpretation. Because I could be right, or I could be eight miles from the truth. You never really know. Um, the other thing a lot of people have been pointing out is that there was this uh, picture from the new Pokemon anime that's going to come out for Scarlet and Violet. And the main character chick, since Ash is retired, since he's champ now... You know, Ash, uh, Ash is officially on his Roman Reigns grind now. You know what I'm saying? He's champion, so he's retiring. And the new main character is going to have this pendant that looks like a weird, uh, uh, looks like a weird, you know, uh, Terra Crystal. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and so maybe this turtle shell thing could be connected to that Terra Crystal. And it, it all could be a, a reference to something that's going to be in the anime. We don't really know. This all looks really cool to me, though. Um, definitely, if they combined, like, this with the lore of Generation 6, that definitely could hint that there's something Kalos-related in the DLC. But we don't really know. So, that's about it for this. Uh, of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that good stuff. Uh, follow me at Twitter.com. Uh, check out my second channel, The Loot Box Hero, because we, we just over there chilling. And as always, people, keep it real.